everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i've got a primark haul for you today my last video was a mahusive look around the shop i will link that video below if you want to go and check that out um i've got three bags below I gathered up some items from three different stores um the main one and my passion is always going to be the bristol primark it is just the best i've been to london cardiff manchester i've been to a lot of primarks and bristol just literally knocks the spots off every other store it's just amazing and I suppose I know my way around. They always have loads and loads of stock. So yeah, that was the store that I filmed at. That is kind of like my go-to if I know I need to do a big look around the store or I know I want to get some new in pieces. That is the store. So before we get into it, grab yourselves a drink and some snacks. I've got myself a cup of tea this morning, which is starting to go cold, actually. My husband made it for me quite a while ago. And yeah, I've just been filming the try on and I've not really got, got around to drinking it. So anyway, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off with a beautiful piece. This is only £11 and the quality is insane. I've got below some way more expensive jumpers and the quality of this is just insane. I love it. I did pick this up in an extra large and actually I think I probably could have easily got an extra extra large only because I think this is meant to be worn as like more of a fitted jumper, maybe with jeans. But I love my jumpers with my leggings. So this is why I sized up. It is OK, but I also think that I could have got away with an extra, extra large for like that baggy fit. What I will say with this jumper is the sleeves are incredibly long so I have turned them over now I'm not sure if that's because I sized up but I don't think so because I've sized up in jumpers before and just because you're an extra large does not mean that your arms have grown so I'm thinking it's maybe the style so I did turn them up you could obviously have them ruched or just that little bit longer but this is gorgeous I'd say bottle green jumper with a very slight neckline actually which I think is quite a flattering neckline especially if you have a double chin um I don't like anything too high and I almost feel a little bit suffocated if I've got sort of a neckline up here I don't know why but this is really soft like insanely soft and it's quite a good length this did cover my bum, but that is probably because I did size up to an extra large. And £11, I just can't actually believe that this is £11. I've actually got jumpers similar to this that I've bought in previous years. And I feel this is it, but I feel that they have changed the design. I actually really like this design. But the fabric of the jumper feels very similar to what I've already got. So... Watch this space, either they're going to bring out the one that I've got that they brought out for the last, I think, two, three years, or this is the replacement. But yeah, really beautiful jumper and such a bargain at £11. Okay, next jumper, I picked this up on a bit of a whim because it looked really cosy. It's £10. But there are a few things I would say I feel are wrong with this jumper, for me anyway. So it's quite an oversized, almost like fleecy sort of jumper. Um, it's got quite wide sleeves as well, which I'm not 
overly keen on. I felt that this came up too high, although it is very soft. So I think it would give you that kind of cozy feeling. And I picked this up because I was thinking that I'd probably wear this as loungewear. Now, the thing that put me off about this jumper is actually the lining. It's... On camera, it looks a lot softer than what it feels. It just screams cheapness to me. I don't know. I'm not saying I expected the inside to be exactly the same as the outside, but I just don't feel that the inside tallies up or even comes close to the outside for comfort and softness. I mean, I'm presuming that most people would buy this because... It does feel cosy, but then the inside just doesn't give that feel. So that defeats the object to me. But for £10, you know, it is a decent, thin, I wouldn't even class as a jumper, to be honest with you. It's too thin. It's kind of in between a fleecy top and a jumper. Again, if it was lined differently, then this would probably provide you with a lot more warmth. But because of the lining, it does feel quite thin and cheap. And the fleece, I'm not too sure how well this would wash. I kind of feel that it would get almost like the fleece would end up being like a little bit matted and would go hard. I don't know. But yeah, not for me, sadly. I then picked up this t-shirt. I am going to send this back purely because it is actually quite large. It is a large as well. <laughs> um, but I got it because it's got 1977 on it. And that was the year that I was born. And I just thought that that was quite, quite cool to have that. But it is massive, like massive. And... I probably sized up because I wanted the length, but I think I would have a look at the medium. This is by Paula Acheveria. I don't know if that's how I'm saying it correctly. And this was £5. So, yeah, I am going to be sending that back while well, taking it back, but I will see what medium is like. But I wouldn't say I'm blown away by it, so... Chances are I'll probably end up just returning it, to be honest with you. Okay, I'd been into Primark and Charlton quite a few times. I passed it on my way to work and this jumper was on like a display right by the doors. And I was really drawn to this jumper. Kept looking at it thinking it looks really cosy, maybe slightly itchy, but it just has that really nice kind of cosiness look to it but it's not a shape that I thought it was going to be this is by Paula again 17 pounds so a little bit on the steeper side to look at perfect color love the color it's not actually itchy it's really really nice but the thing that I felt let this down for me anyway is it's quite a straight boxy fit and I'm not saying I don't like boxy fits but this I don't know it just I don't feel it did anything for for my body shape at all but it is a really lovely jumper I did pick this up in a small so maybe sizing up would solve that problem but it's just a really lovely, I suppose in my view, like classic autumn winter jumper that you just want to chuck on and snuggle up to. It is also quite thick. It's got this almost like, if you squeeze, it's got this like spongy effect to it. It's really strange fabric. I don't, can I see what it actually is? So it says 50% recycled polyester. It's just really strange material. You'd have to like touch this for yourself to understand. Yeah, I've never felt a jumper like this. 
and I also really like this little turnover neckline as well I think that's kind of cute so yeah I might have a look and see what a medium would look like I don't like to go too oversized with oversized jumpers because I just feel that they make me look bigger than what I am and on a little skinny mini they look beautiful the way they hang but I just feel for me personally a bit like a drained wrap I just feel that they swamp me and don't necessarily do my body shape that great so I will have a look at a size medium and large maybe try it on in store but for that one it will be going back and then moving on to my next bag I have been looking for this viral jumper ever since it came out on TikTok and YouTube shorts and I haven't found it anywhere and I know that they do this in like a light grey but I wasn't displeased with the colour that I picked up but it's just not I love the idea of it and I love it holding it up on a hanger but on it just I just don't feel it looked right this is 17 pounds and it does contain wool but it's not itchy and yeah it's the viral jumper that's very slightly longer at the back than it is at the front it's a really lovely colour and a thick cosy everything you'd want in a winter jumper it just is one of those jumpers that gives you that hug feeling it's just not right for me sadly and I am really gutted because I do love it but yeah if it had been perfect and I loved it then I definitely would have paid the £17 but sadly it's not and that is the way isn't it Next, I picked my daughter up a pair of cosy socks. I've mentioned on my channel a lot that my daughter has quite sense, well, I say quite massive sensory needs. Everything is, um, I guess, looking at it as being a little bit tunnel visioned. It has to be a certain way. She'll find a certain piece of clothing and then she'll want like loads of that colour which that's great that's absolutely fine um it's very much about touch feel appearance so I did pick her up two pairs of these cosy socks in my last Primark haul now this is how she sees attention to detail because of her sensory issues I don't but both of those had a very very slight fleck of like shimmery glitter to them straight away she picked up on it and she was like they're both like glittery I just want plain she ha she is wearing them but I was queuing up and they always have socks by the tails and there was a big row of them and these are the only ones that didn't have any form of like sparkle in them or shimmer so I picked these up two pounds and hopefully that will make her a little bit happier because I know little details like that will really bother her and they're two pounds and she lives in cozy socks throughout autumn and winter so yeah I picked those up but they're really nice colours as well actually the only downside to cozy socks is they molt everywhere until you've done a fair few washes literally everywhere you'll find fluff all over the carpets and in the past I've made the mistake of buying her black and we've got beige carpets and then there'd be black everywhere it's not a problem you just vacuum it but just to let you know if you've never had cozy socks they are amazing but you need a fair few washes to get rid of that like molten stage but other than that they're lovely okay bag number three I picked this up on a bit of whim but it will be going back 
I couldn't really tell in the store how short this was going to be, but it is just too short to me. It's a little kind of cropped sweat top and this was 11 down to 6. I did get it in a size large and it's this navy colour and it's got distressing, which almost looks like it's like bleach dis distressing. I do really like it, but I mean, maybe with joggers... I was trying this on my leggings and instantly I'm like, no, that's way too short. But yeah, it is really nice. It's kind of got that rough edging at the bottom where it slightly curls. I really like that. I did pick up a large as well and hope that it would be longer because normally the larger size you go is slightly longer. But just, yeah, sadly for me, a big fat no, but for somebody else, lovely. And I've only got two more items left. Now, I don't know if your home is the same as mine, but things like socks, umbrellas, it's like there's a vortex for them and they get sucked up in that vortex and you never ever see them again. I've had loads of rain recently, but it's not necessarily cold enough to have a proper full on winter coat. And I can't find any umbrella anywhere. Anywhere. So I picked one up from Primani. Can always count on Primani for a really low budget umbrella. This was £4.50. I actually picked this up in black and I thought, no, I'm going to go and get it in burgundy. Burgundy is massive this year. I've never, ever owned a colourful umbrella. I've always gone for black it's boring so yeah I went for burgundy it's one of these small ones that will fit in my bag £4.50 you can't go wrong everyone needs an umbrella and then last thing I bought this for my daughter I'm presuming this is just reduced after the Halloween period it's a marshmallow hydrating printed sheet mask I thought I'd pick that for my daughter. Thought, never have seen a sheet mask that smells of marshmallows as well. That sounds like a good combination. So 50p, can't go wrong. 50p from a pound. So yeah, I picked that up for Isla. And that is everything that I picked up from Primark. I was looking at all of the homeware and I was filming and my plan was after I filmed to go around and pick up a few pieces but I received a call from my daughter and my eldest daughter and I just knew that she needed me so yeah we just ended up having a really long conversation I stopped my filming there and I can always go back so there are loads and loads of beautiful Christmas homeware. I am going to have to restrain myself. How? I don't know. But um, yeah, it can only get better. They're just going to keep bringing more stuff in, aren't they? But I really hope you've enjoyed this haul. As you know, my favourites are Primark hauls. You just can't beat a Primark haul. I hope you have had a lovely Halloween. Not that I celebrate it, but I know some people do. Um, I'm very much headstrong focused on Christmas now. Like it's November the 4th, I think today. Third? No, maybe it's the third. And yeah, I am just, I am itching to get all of my Christmas stuff out. So I'm going to see how long I can hold back. We are going away for Christmas. So my plan is to take my decorations down before Christmas. So I am kind of thinking getting them up early and take them down obviously very early because I don't want to be coming back to decorations. So watch this space. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely stick around because there's going to be lots of Christmassy content. I am just yeah so excited about Christmas this year I think maybe because we're going away I don't know but yeah if you like this video can you please give it a like big thumbs up 
just to let me know that you enjoyed it and also it really does help my channel it helps people find my channel as you can imagine YouTube is mahoosive and getting found is a tall order is a big task these days so if you could do that for me I would really appreciate it and yeah until next time take care everyone and I'll see you really soon in my next video bye <laughs>